Security chief of the ousted Libyan leader Colonel Muammar Gaddafi has fled the country and is now hiding in neighboring Niger, according to officials. Gaddafi wasn't said to be part of the convoy that crossed the border Tuesday, while Burkina Faso denies claims it's ready to provide him with asylum. Before the start of the anti-Gaddafi campaign, the U.S. CIA and British MI6 were allegedly sending terror suspects to Libya for interrogation and torture. Claims based on diplomatic documents recently found in Tripoli have sparked outrage. This comes as the rebels now control most of the country. As RT's Daniel Bush reports, signs suggest it's not over for the violence in Libya as the real chaos may be yet to come. Mohammed Hassan is one of Africa's most experienced diplomats. Just back from the Libyan capital, he says NATO bombing has turned it into a ghost town. There is no police. There is no administration. There is no, there is no schools. Law and order has been replaced by a motley crew of rebels. Some fear that the various groups who've emerged might soon start fighting each other. Weapon stores have been raided, every man's armed with Kalashnikovs. If the tribes fight for their independence, the country will enter a never-ending civil war with brutal urban guerrilla warfare. Analysts argue that even rebel leaders don't know where their fighters are from. Rebel head Mahmoud Jalil was alarmed to find Islamist sleeper cells had joined his Tripoli offensive. A vast parallel structure of combatants has appeared. We have no idea who's in charge of them. NATO's hopes of a reliable replacement for Muammar Gaddafi appear to be fading. Libya's rebels remain deeply divided, while the chaos from NATO's bombing appears to be spreading beyond the country's borders. In the turmoil, there are fears that religious extremists could be using Libya as a base to further their aims in North Africa. Tunisian women got abortion rights 20 years before women in Belgium. Under the last regime, divorced women got benefits. Revived Arab religious movements are trying to reverse that. Before the war, leaders from Barack Obama to Nicola Sarkozy and Silvio Berlusconi shook and even kissed Gaddafi's hand. The rebels got the red carpet treatment in Paris, but the West will also change tack, warn experts, if Libya doesn't go for them as planned. According to this man who's just returned from war-torn Tripoli, the message from some locals there is that the conflict may have created a Frankenstein's monster for Europe. They warned us that we don't know what we are creating in Libya. It will be a free haven of all uh, extremist groups, which are just on the southern border of Europe. Pirates from failed Somalia made their coast a no-go. Frighteningly, some diplomats now think Libya is heading in the same direction. But what they will do is sure that it is Mediterranean will not be a safe sea. There will be pirates, and they will be obliged to control Mediterranean to make it safe. I don't think French economy can support that. Western intervention in Libya has brought large numbers of new forces to the fore. Experts fear the West itself may come to regret their emergence. Daniel Bushell, RT, Brussels.